I just came out of the gym and guess what time it is? It is acupuncture board prep time. So let's try this question together. Now this question is about tongue and pulse. So which tongue is most commonly seen with spleen chi deficiency? Is it a red tongue with no coat? Is it a purple tongue with a thin white coat? Or is it a pale tongue with teeth marks? Now you can pause the screen to guess. Now the correct answer is that last one, which is a pale tongue with teeth marks. And here's why. So a pale tongue with teeth marks or scalloped edges, that's actually one of the textbook definitions of spleen chi deficiency. And why does this happen in your body? Well, this happens in your body because with spleen chi deficiency, the spleen is failing to transform and transport. And this is going to lead to what? It's going to lead to an accumulation of fluid or dampness. And also the spleen is responsible for holding things in place. So if there's spleen chi deficiency, that's not going to allow the tongue's shape to be held together. So it's going to swell. Now the pale tongue body, that also shows that there's chi deficiency or even a blood deficiency. Now when you couple that with the fact that dampness is causing the tongue to swell and the spleen chi deficiency isn't allowing the tongue to hold its shape, that makes the tongue press against the teeth and that causes the scalloped shape or the teeth marks. All right, everyone, that was it. Until next time, God bless and happy studying.